Morning, beautiful people. Uh, this is me. Uh, John and I are down here doing bread from the beach down at Fort Fisher. You can see the um, ocean out here behind us is incredibly calm this morning. It's beautiful. John and I met a young man named Lacey here uh, in this little gazebo where we're shooting this video. And he's talked to us about encounter with the Lord and the Lord working in his life and, and how a young lady had uh, really introduced a book to him and him to a book and it's influenced his life. And it's just an indication of the fact that wherever we are, God is. And He's always touching people. And we just get the opportunity here this morning with John, myself, and Lacey uh, just to share this video with you. I want to talk with you a little bit, uh, just for a few minutes now, about the book of James, chapter 1. Um, sometimes as we journey through life, it doesn't always take us where we think it's going to take us. And, but yet we know that God's in charge, and as we submit and obey His direction uh, through the Holy Spirit, then we have encounters uh, that really impact our lives and often just radically transform our lives. But we also know that in the journey, things are not always easy, and that oftentimes we run into circumstances that really are beyond our control. Sometimes they're within our control, but we just don't respond well. But there are lessons to be learned all along the journey as long as we can remember that we see the goal at the end of this thing. But for our daddy, it's the process that we're in. That's the goal. Because every day he's working to transform our lives and to cause us to become the mature young men and women that he's called us to be as his family. So let me just share quickly with you this passage from James. And then we'll be looking at a little more of James uh, throughout these next four or five of these videos. So in chapter 1, James, uh, consider in, in verse 2, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face many trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Uh, in this season, with all the stuff that's going on, you know, around us in the world, the U.S. and throughout the world, um, you need patience. You need a willingness to endure what's going on so that you give the Holy Spirit the opportunity to work in you and through you the things that the Father wants to do in order to make you strong. So perseverance uh, can be a gift. It also is a challenge. And so today we just want to say whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, count it all pure, pure joy because you're not in it by yourself. Your Father's in it with you, and His desire is to make you strong, to strengthen your faith, and to enable you to walk in all that He's called you to walk in. So perseverance for today. We'll talk a little more in some of the other videos about what perseverance means. However, this is bread from the beach for today. Be blessed.